work was progressing rapidly. By the autumn of 2000, the Scottish underground cables were being delivered at Karari port. Divers used flotation bags to help ease the heavy cables ashore, whilst workers had the unenviable task of pulling the six lengths of the cable from the shoreline up to the first jointing position in very difficult conditions. Later, as weather conditions allowed, four of the cables were pulled onwards to the next jointing position, and two of them were finally pulled up to Auchincrosh Converter Station DC Hall. Across the North Channel at Port Muck, the Northern Ireland underground cables to be connected to Bally Cronenmore Converter Station were next to be floated ashore. Close supervision and collaboration were a pivotal part of the project. The rapidly deteriorating weather tested the resolve and ingenuity of the teams. The challenges they faced were made all the more daunting by undertaking the work during what turned out to be the wettest autumn on record. It was vital to ensure that the pulling load exerted on the cables did not exceed the limits given that the overall weight of each length of cable was about 70 tonnes. Great care had to be taken with every metre of cable that was laid. Every metre weighing almost 50 kilograms. Every kilometre a testimony to planning expertise and engineering know-how. everyone had waited for finally arrived. Measured, cut and floated ashore, the first submarine cable was pulled through a pre-installed conduit to the accompanying strains of an Irish piper and a Scottish drummer.